This is a cornfield I ended up in a number of years ago after the engine and a Cessna gave me the Italian salute at low altitude in the climb. And for a few seconds, I almost made the decision to stretch the glide back to the airfield, and that would have been a bad decision. And it's those bad decisions that Garmin attempts to backstop with technology it calls Smart Glide. Smart Glide's part of the autonomy line of automation, and it trickles down from emergency auto land. But unlike Autoland, SmartGlide's available in the aftermarket. It's Garmin's big announcement at AirVenture 2021. Let's go to the company Bonanza where Kyle's gonna tell us all about it. SmartGlide is the newest technology in our autonomy family of autonomous flight technologies. It truly helps answer the age-old question of what would you do in the event of an engine failure, right? So uh, it's a very trying time, a very busy time for a pilot if they lose engine power or engine power completely and it helps you uh, reduce your workload and get to the trying task of checklists and other things as soon as you have that engine failure or loss of engine power. Smart Glide is activated with the push of the direct to button on the GTNXI Navigator, the preferred method of a discrete button on the panel, a guarded discrete button. And what it does is, is take into account terrain, weather factors such as wind and other things to select the preferred uh, glidable airport and so it doesn't have to be the nearest airport but it's the closest glidable airport it gives you a few options as well it doesn't just have to be one and it helps you navigate there and pitch for best glide uh, more quickly so you can maybe uh, restart the engine uh, if that's possible or at least set yourself up uh, for success getting to that uh, nearest glidable airport so smart glide is already available through a simple and free software update uh, through Garmin dealers if you have the GTN XI Navigator, either a 750 XI or a 650 XI uh, GTN Navigator unit, and also a TXI flight display or the GI275 set of PFD and MFD solutions. If you also have a compatible Garmin Autopilot like a GFC500 or 600, the Smart Glide solution will automatically activate that autopilot in the event that you uh, activate the system uh, and will automatically pitch for best glide speed uh, that you set in your GTN XI Navigator as well as turn you towards the airport, uh, your nearest glidable airport. So Smart Glide is soon to be available through our authorized Garmin dealer network across the globe and you also have to have some compatible avionics. So we like to say compatible flight display at this time it will be the GI275 electronic flight instruments as well as our TXI series of flight displays. And of course the, the brains behind Smart Glide is our GTN XI series of navigators. So both the GTN 750XI and GTN 650XI. So what's next for Smart Glide? I mentioned earlier that it's currently available to compatible flight displays, meaning the GI275 electronic flight instrument or our TXI flight displays. And we'll be expanding uh, that list of compatible flight displays here in the not too distant future. Larry, thanks for having us on today and talk about our new products. We're excited to be reunited with our aviation family and showcase our new products that are newly available to uh, the aviation marketplace. You can read a full report on Garmin's Smart Glide in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. This is Larry Anglosano reporting.